Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome to Savannah. It's finally, this is the trip that we wanted to take in April of 2020, but then that thing happened that we're not going to remind you about. And it's still going on. But we feel like it's time. <laughs> <laughs> he sneezed right on cue when we went into the sun. Yeah. That's going in the edit, you know? Yeah. Oh, by the way, as I was trying to say before, before I was so rudely interrupted, this is the trip that we wanted to take uh, in April last year for our fifth wedding anniversary. But that didn't happen. And we postponed it to now. And now is now. But you're seeing this later, so. And I'm not in a damn shot. Hello. <laughs> okay, now time for the food. Hello, full rack of ribs and brisket. And that's enough of the food for him. There's Craig. Dig in. <laughs> this barbecue restaurant is very good. It's very interesting. They do it low and slow, which means low temperature, long cook time. And uh, of course you have your normal barbecue sauce, but they have a very interesting barbecue sauce. It's, it's this one, it's called a tangy Carolina Gold. And it's an interesting cross between a barbecue sauce and a honey mustard. And I like it, it is really good, I, re I recommend it. And of course, we wrecked it. We wrecked it all. And Greg went even further and had a beer with his. Did you enjoy it too? Yep. Hello and welcome to the South Beach at Tybee Island. Say hi, Greg. Yes, I'm going to try not to get sunburned. I have plenty of sunscreen on. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. So we're going to a beach boy now. Uh, it took enough effort to get this umbrella put up. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that happened. Okay, so obviously we're not doing the how-to video on how to pitch an umbrella at the beach. Well, our umbrella kept falling over, so I built a sand mound around it. Yeah, if there's one thing you have plenty of on the beach, it's sand. So now we're in the in the shade and uh, and now. This big girl's got to relax and go in the water some, but I can't, I can't risk taking my phone to the water, so uh, you're going to have to visualize that part. Yeah, so this is me uh, about 10 minutes after going into the water, and I went out probably about 30 feet, maybe that's a generous estimate, and the waves knocked me over onto my butt but it felt good I liked it but I should have bought these shorts a size well not if I bought them a size bigger they might have come off now that I think about it oh well lessons learned and by the way Greg hell is a ghost <laughs> making his YouTube debut not quite in the buff. As you well know, he is a man of few words. He hasn't been in the water yet, so we'll get his reaction after he gets back. Oh, and by the way, might I document my nail polish? I know Josh will be interested in it. I know he still watches these vlogs. I know you're still watching. 
I can I can smell Archie and the treats through the YouTubes. I just pulled that phrase right out of thin air. Did you miss us? <laughs> Quality content. Here he is. Back. Back from the waves. Nice. You were out there longer than I thought you'd be. <laughs> it's been like 10 minutes. Did you go get completely immersed? No. <laughs> I, only went, I only went to the point where the wave of this vibe about my knee, but not Okay, so definitely a tip, if you've never been to a beach before, or most of you probably have, is uh, I would definitely get a pair of flip flops or Crocs. Uh, I definitely will be investing in some. Uh, also, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, the sand can get hot at times. I mean, not the wet part of the sand, the dry part of the sand, like back here behind me. Yeah, that can get hot, so again, the, if you're going back that way, away from the water, that's definitely a good idea. Um, other than that, wear plenty of sunscreen or be in the shade like we are here, you know, having a good time. Okay, so we are back from the beach in our little Airbnb here, which is uh, nice and small and super cute, you know. But uh, when will I ever learn that you put sunscreen on, you go in the water, you get back out, you've got to put the sunscreen on again. I'm not burned super bad because I was in the, in the shade of the umbrella a lot. But uh, yeah, put the sunscreen back on. I mean, it's not it's not horrible not not like not like that Knox Pride 2018 tank top outline that I had but I didn't bring any tank tops with me and probably for good reason too because I would definitely have an outline <laughs> if it was that I wore a full I wore a full t-shirt uh, whenever I didn't never I had a shirt on or whatever but Greg's not burned that bad either. I think he was better with the sunscreen than I was, but I didn't. how close is this skin color to my fingernail polish color? Uh, I don't know. It, it's pretty close. The, these are the observations that I make, you know. Oh, and also, uh, I didn't have flip-flops, and I should have. So I got a lot of sand in my shoes. I've already beaten the sand out. It's okay. But uh, that sand was hot. You know, I figured that would happen. I mean, I, I don't think, even though I thought we were prepared enough, we weren't prepared enough. We should also bring a mallet to get the pole beat into the ground for the umbrella, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the first time going to the beach you know I mean I'm sure other people have made these mistakes before you know it's no big deal just be better prepared next time okay so she she me is really feeling the pain I really got burned bad it's it's tough it really is but we're not gonna let that get in the way of some good dinner the good food content you come to expect. And he picked the place, so you know how that goes. <laughs> Hi there. Sorry for the lack of food porn, but the sunburn was really getting to me. And I was just focused on eating my dinner. And the seafood was excellent. I had the fish and shrimp and uh, it was very good. And Greg, what did you have? I had fried tilapia and, and fries. Fish and chips, I guess. More or less. And was that very good too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I would definitely recommend uh, the Savannah Seafood Shack to you, but be prepared for a long wait because it was a really long wait. And that's what happens when you try to show up at 7 p.m. 
on a on a Monday night. On a Monday night, mind you. <laughs> yeah, I hate to try to get some uh, on a weekend. I mean, we saw the line there before, Greg, when we were walking down Broughton Street the uh, uh, Sunday night, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is quite a perspective shot of Greg way back in the background back there, and I'm way up here, you know. <laughs> but we're okay. We've taken some ibuprofen. We took a coldish shower, lukewarm. Uh, we've slathered some aloe on both of our bodies. Boy, that's a sexy description. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that bad when I laugh. <laughs> but I should be glad I'm laughing because I was crying about an hour ago. I literally was crying. But we're just going to relax for the rest of tonight and then uh, we have some more stuff to show you tomorrow, okay? All right? Good night. So, Greg, what is your criteria for a pizza place? Well, I try to find the local, locally owned places, you know, with, with lots of good comments and reviews and stuff. And you found this one? Mm hmm And how was it? Oh, it was really good. New, oh. New Jersey style thin crust pizza. Uh -huh. You saw how massive it looked, but don't let looks deceive you. Well, the thin, the very thin crust, you know, it it's, makes it not as fill as filling as uh, other pizzas, so it can eat more. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're reinventing the wheel with pizza here. I mean, pizza is pizza. It should be pizza. Well, that's a quote, isn't it? Anyway. We are now going to a place suggested to us by a good friend of ours, Jason. Uh, he suggested that we go to a cat cafe. And we thought that was a really good idea for several reasons. We'll explain why in a moment. So this is a place that was recommended to us by our friend Jason, the Pounce Cat Cafe. It's exactly what it seems like it is, a cafe with cats. And we went for the package, it has treats and some catnip and a fun little toy. If you have cats, they might be darting at the screen right about now. <laughs> So Greg, how, how relaxing is uh, this cat cafe? Very relaxing. You made a lot of friends here. The cats just love him, particularly when they have treats.
which is that cat in the window. And these, these are all rescued cats. And they're all up for adoption. So they're all looking for homes. So if you need a cat and you live in the Savannah area, come here. And lots of sweet cats that need homes. Oh. So we are down here along the Savannah River. Uh, River Street is right behind us. I'll show it to you in a moment, but it is a street entirely of cobblestone. And you can drive on it, we've driven on it, and it is a test of your car's suspension. Yeah, don't go faster than like seven miles an hour tops, you know, the speed limit's 15. Yeah. And there are rails where a streetcar used to run that hasn't ran in a very long time. But uh, we have some uh, dinner planned for tonight. Always trying to find the best burger in town. We're going to where, Greg? Uh, the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Hi, so here's the burger. This is the hangover burger. Yes, that's a fried egg. And Greg just went with the cheeseburger as usual. Show the cheese, Greg. To the camera, please. It's in there somewhere. There it is. I see it. Bon appetit. Okay, one thought from me. Why in the world have I never had fried egg on a burger until this point? I've been missing something. It was really good. Okay, so just in case you wanted to see it, pardon our mess. Now, we're two days in, and this is our cute, cozy little Airbnb we have here. And there's, there's Greg over there. Okay, so the final verdict on the burger was that it was great. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why I never had fried egg on a burger before now. And Greg, how was your burger? It was really good. Yes. Now, I won't say that's the best burger in Savannah, but it definitely was up there. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, how could you go wrong with pub food? I mean, and uh, the beer went well with it. I had some Sweetwater 420, which is an Atlanta beer. And you went with a name brand. No plugs. Ah. Ah. No, we're not sponsored. We're not mentioning it. All right, we're done with Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, so I'm the weirdo at the beach in jeans because my left leg got really badly sunburned and I'm trying to protect it. We're waiting to go to dinner right now. And Greg is here. And what happened just now while trying to take a picture? I kept sneezing. Yeah, and I caught you mid-sneeze. Well, we were facing right in the, to the sun. That's the second time in this vlog that he's had an issue with sneezing. This time in a still photo. Here it is. Yeah, that's a mid-sneeze pose. What do you have to say for yourself? Ooh, the sun makes me sneeze. It's weird. Okay, we're here. It's our last day in the Savannah and Tybee area. We're going back tomorrow to Atlanta. We'll be better prepared next time to not get sunburned. Right. All right. Let's go to Din Din's.
So, Greg, here we are at the beach. The water is right in front of us. How do you feel? Very relaxed. I wish we could have like another week here so I could do this without the sunburn, you know. <laughs> but coming at dusk was the best thing to be able to experience the beach without irritating the sunburn. You know? And the beach is just as pretty at night, plus the tide's lower, you know. I mean, you, if you've been to the beach, you don't need to explore. So I think that brings us to the end of this vlog, okay? All right. Now I'll leave you with a view out at sea. Remember to uh, subscribe, turn on bell, like, comment, all that, okay? All that. We love you guys very much, okay? Stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, get the vaccine, all right? Bye.